Ketchikan has quite a history. It's been known as the salmon capital of the world, and right now it's the commercial fishing capital of Alaska. It also has become a great tourist capital, and it's the gateway for many kinds of fishing and camping expeditions. Ketchikan is the closest and most economical destination in Alaska. Air travel is the common form of transportation. Pilots fly to many remote regions daily. To most Alaskans, a flight on a float plane is as typical as a New Yorker taking the subway. Rivers, coves, lakes, and glaciers are made accessible through the pilot's skill. Stops can be easily made for accommodating the fishermen, where grayling and trout can be found in abundance. Grayling is a rare fish not found in many Alaskan waters, but on this occasion, Mike Costello caught 11 on 11 casts. When hungry, the grayling will strike almost any pattern. And as with any rarity, these fish should be released after the catch. Some remote lakes hold only Dolly Varden, others rainbow trout. One of the true joys in fishing is getting a chance to catch a species that you've never caught before. Well, in this segment, Eddie White, Mike Costello, and I are going to have a chance to catch our first coho salmon. And I know it's going to be an experience that we're going to truly enjoy. From Hyder, Alaska. The sister cities of Hyder, Alaska and Stewart, British Columbia are on the spur of the Cassier Highway at the head of the Portland Canal, a narrow saltwater fjord approximately 90 miles long. This forms a natural boundary between Alaska and Canada. Stewart has a deep harbor and boasts of being Canada's most northerly ice-free port. Fish Creek up the Salmon River Road from Hyder is a fall spawning ground for some of the world's largest salmon. Nothing can compare with the fishing action available in this region. Surrounded by mountains, the glacial waters are home to various species of fish. Catching the trophy of a lifetime is more than possible here, standing in the shallows and casting out to deeper waters. The salmon is the king of the waterways, and its physical exploits are legendary. This is one of the most sought-after game fish, strong and fast. The fight is characterized by long bullish runs made stronger in the swift glacial current. Many different types of tackle may be utilized, including casting, spinning, or fly rod. One of the goals for me on this particular trip is trying to catch on a fly rod a huge salmon with six pound tippet. For the dedicated fly fisherman, Alaska is a dream come true. Presentation is everything in catching the Dolly Varden, another great sport fish. This fighting fury prefers the cold deep water of the glacier to a trip on shore. Dolly Varden can be taken two to ten a day depending on your location. Using a fly rod, the comet fly is most effective. For the novice, nothing is more thrilling than a salmon on a spinning rod. Because lures are effective tipped with salmon eggs, the first time angler is ensured a success. And half the fun is showing off and admiring your catch. But the real test is the mighty coho salmon on a fly rod. Execution of the catch and landing on a six-pound tippet is a very delicate matter, 
requiring deafness of touch and steady control of the fish at all times. The swift current and rocky bottom conspire against the angler to give the fish a fighting chance. Record